Honey, did you catch something? Um, just are you, got to do some running repairs. Are you, uh, are you winning 2-0? Oh, my Lord. Lord. He caught a thong. <laughs> no water inside. <laughs> it's a flip. A flip-flop. Is that what you call that fish? Yeah. A croc, actually. I caught a croc. It's caught a croc. <laughs> I don't know where that come from, though. Holy dooly, it's a doozy. Yeah, I don't know what's up here. Yeah. Hey honey. Oh, there's the pie shop there. Hey honey, I'm hooked on you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want anything though, do you? Nah. Nah. I'm not hungry. Good boy. Of course. Is there a ginger beer? Non-alcoholic? Yep. 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 Thank you. <laughs> they gave you your beer. Gave me my beer and a stubby older. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Look around so you can see. <laughs> it's such a cool pub. So you can uh, camp out the back here. Obviously, I think as if you have to buy a beer or something in the pub. Yeah, I think you got to buy a meal and, and patronise the pub. So. Mm. And then out here, there's some steam tractors. Yeah. Down under the tree. Oh yeah, perfect. Over here. There's a shower over here. Look at that. Crunchy grass under my feet. Look at that. Sorry, not a John Deere, honey. Not a John Deere. Don't even know, it might be a I don't know. Renovator's dream. <laughs> Bloody massive though. Yeah. We're at um, <laughs> we're in Hewenden. Thanks Leonie for the Florentine oh, slice. Very mm. good. Thanks mum. 
But um, if China attacks us tonight, I think we'll be safe. I think we're going to be pretty safe. Mm. The locals. Porcupines. Is that surprising, Adam? Not really. It's a <laughs> uh, is a vast 27 kilometres long gorge in the dry savannah country. There you go. Of course, we come prepared for snakes. <laughs> Morning. No, dogs. no diving off cliffs. <laughs> that is just crazy. There's a helicopter off in the distance. You can do helicopter tours from um, Porcupine Gorge um, at the lookout, the next lookout that we'll go to. Ooh. Oh, there's water down there. Way down deep. And I'm like two meters from the edge. That's just crazy. He must love me if he's worried about me. Do you love me if you're worried about me? There was no answer. <laughs> it's 
spot the tourist. <laughs> We've arrived at the whistling boar. Now this boar goes up to 500 meters down. But ooh, boobies just fit. Do you fit, honey? But they say it whistles. Depending on the atmosphere's pressure, a distinct whistling can be heard through the holes of the cap. And I don't know why, it's a bit of a mystery why it whistles, but some think that there's... Oh, shit. <laughs> some think that there's, there's a um, shaft halfway down that creates a whistling sound. Yeah, no, we can't hear anything. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it could be just the wind passing through that one and putting it out through that one. No, come back. You can hear it. Come back. Come back. See, it's always so quick to move on. Put your ear, ear down right there. Wait. Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> hey, these things are fun. However, let's go spinny spinny round on the uh, thing at. There's a WD-40 on it. Ready? Which way are you going to go? <laughs> Shit! Hang on! No. <laughs> Can I go backwards? Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, things you do for entertainment. There you go. It's quite, um, really, like, that sort of stuff. As much as I love history, that was quite boring. Oh, hey! Get it? Get it? Boring. boring. Uh, I'm sorry, I was a bit slow on that uptake. Ah! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Did they hurt, Adam? Yes. Oh, do you need a kiss goodbye? Oh, better, not goodbye. <laughs> this might seem a little bit random, but we, um, we're following some little historical points of interest. So this one's called the Dingo Fence. Um, and as you cross the grid, if you look out to the left and right, there's an old Dingo Fence, a barrier that extends 2,500 kilometres making the longest fence in the world. Or used to be. That's probably better than that side, actually. Mm. Um, and they built it to protect the sheep and the cattle from the dingoes. Um, but because they no longer do that in this area, or for sheep in this area, they've just let this part of the dingo fence actually just perish. <laughs> Just because we can. Keep coming, that's good. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Stop there, I'm just going to put ramps under you just to make us level. Does it matter that the branches are touching the roof? No. What if when we close the roof though, will we end up with some in the, in the thing? Pardon? No. You'll just have to push them out or something. Is our solar on the other side? Solar's at the front. And the other side, which has been covered by those trees, does that matter? No, uh, it's probably nearly 90% anyway, and we're not going to be using TV or anything, so we should be right. Okay, all right, let me just get ramps, and I'll do this. Oh, honey. What's your food of choice today, honey? Licorice. Licorice. We're just about to undertake the perimeter walk of the gorge. What is it? 2.7k or something? Something like that. Hmm. So toilets here before you go. I've already done that. Wouldn't want to get caught short, honey. Yeah. <laughs> We've got snake bite kit. 
We haven't got first aid kit, we've got water. <laughs> Probably should have brought the first aid kit. Anyway, and EPIRB with us. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you think that. Yeah, no, you don't think, do you? And uh, there you go. All right, here we go. At least we're heading in the right direction for water. Oh, there's an arrow here. I can see the gorge through there. <laughs> you start to wonder for a little bit. Yeah. Literally, you know. Oh, there's an arrow. That was the lookout. That was the lookout. It's pretty good though. Oh, oh. There's my pretty goods again. It's worth a walk out. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. not hard. I'm frothing for tomorrow though. Like you get down to the bottom and look up. Oh yeah. I it's going to be that. unreal. Yeah. Mm. So I think it dropped like 120 meters or something. Oh, I did say. So I'd have to read the. Pretty sure it said 120 meters in the sign today. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. should be rad. rad. New word. Yeah, I'm bringing back rad. Very good. On the road again. <laughs> Wouldn't say we're on the road again. Another bloody hike. <laughs> anyway, this one. You love them. We're going down to the bottom of the gorge today. Where are you? There you are. Here I am. Going down the bottom of the gorge. So it's what, two point... 2.1 k's I think it is. Return. Return. So people are doing it in about 15-20 minutes down and then about a half hour 45 minutes back up because apparently it's freaking steep. So anyway. Here we go. Here we go. I've got a feeling this one won't be wheelchair friendly. <laughs> Thanks, Scoop. Oh, big wedge-tailed eagle there. Oh, wow, nice. Not that you can see it on Does the... Does that mean someone's dead and it's swooping? <laughs> Not that you can see it on the GoPro, but he's huge. Mm, cool. Are you sure you don't want me to take that backpack? No, we'll share it. Not that bad, so I tell you about when I was in New Zealand, think about sharing. When I was going up, when I was on my own there, there was a bloke walking through Geraldine, just with a sheep under his arm. Oh, yeah. And I said to him, I said, "Oh, you're going to shear that?" And he goes, "Shear it? I'm not shearing it with anyone. Get your own." <laughs> so not funny. I'm a hilarious. I do. <laughs> I got no ass. <laughs> Water better be refreshing. Yeah, apparently it is. What's it feel like, honey, <laughs> to be hiking down a 200 million year old gorge? Not dollar, but Not gorge. Like gorge. Amazing. I'd love to see it in the white though. Yeah. You have to walk as far as <laughs> No. You know what they need? A lift. Yeah, zip line. Yeah. Yeah, that is good, huh? Yeah. But we came from all the way up the top there, and we came all the way a little bit about to here. Very good. And before anyone says, why did you make Lee carry the heavy backpack? I've sharing offered it. 10 times and, and we are sharing it. I'm not, I'm not. I'm I think, um, yeah, I'll carry it on the way back up. When it's empty. It'll still be heavy. <laughs> Hopefully the drone will fit in it on the way back up. Wow.
Yeah. Look at that. They're like craters. Yeah. And they're made how? So when the water flows, all the rocks in there get tossed around and they're like a grinding. And they grind the hole out so the rocks can't get out. It keeps getting tossed around and turned around and turned around and just grinds a hole down in there. And where did you learn this at school? Oh, learnt that from um, Pat Callanan. <laughs> yeah. TV's yeah, good for how, something. That's how it happens. Very good. And you can see that, the grind, yeah. like the rock yeah. grinded out on the other side. Yeah. Look at all these ones up here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Will there ever be one video that you don't do that on? Look at that. And the slog continues. <laughs> we end up somewhere up there. But uh, here we go. Not far to go. <laughs> Across the ridge. Honey, yep. I can see blue sky. Well, that's good. I don't know if that means we're near the top <sighs> or not, but I don't even know what I'm filming right at this moment because I'm too busy finding the steps for my feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> we made it. Oh, actually, not yet. <laughs> you know what the worst step's going to be? Getting up into the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, like, the only step or rock is the one outside our door. So the unmarked grave uh, is a bit of a mystery. It tells two stories. 
Either it's the unmarked grave of a Chinaman who was found dead along the side of the road, who was either on his way to the gold fields and um, was run over, or it was a Aboriginal girl called Mimi. And she come by foul play mm, or exposure. It's a mystery. He doesn't find it very exciting. Adam, <laughs> there's someone here. I thought we were supposed to be the only people up here. <laughs> what? No, no way! way. <laughs> oh, wow. Sunset lookout. And the seat's free. Excellent. Very cool. Oh, there's toilets up here if you need a poo. <laughs> Or if your partner gives you the shits. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Hi, babe. <coughs> so attractive. Except you can't actually see the sunset. Oh, you'll see it. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what happens. From its summit, stretching across part of the horizon, there was nothing to be seen but the plains, William Lansborough. 